Yeah, I, I should thank David Norman, for those of you who don't know him, wants to make sure I give him credit for uh, this, this great new toy, which is called a swivel. So this thing, for those of you with an iPhone and, and want to take some video, it will follow you. You put this little thing in your pocket, and it follows you up to 30 feet away. So um, pretty cool tool. We're going to try it tonight for our first time. We just got it the other day to video record um, it, you know, this sort of talk. So first, I want to thank you for coming to the first uh, annual open house at LBNA. We're very excited. We've got a lot of our team here, and we also have a lot of our clients and our centers of influence. Our business does not run without everybody in this room. So we really, first I want to just say thank you to everybody in the room, and if you would, give yourselves a round of applause for, for helping us out. The, um, the LBNA story, it, the, the LBNA story, we're currently, I have to, I don't, I don't think he's here yet, but I'm going to give him credit anyway. A couple of his, a couple of his colleagues are yeah. Todd Vokas and Bill Taylor in the back. Um, this story, the reason, part of the reason for this open house is a guy named Steve Scalia, who is, uh, I'm going to call him a COO, I don't know his exact title, I'm going to call him a COO of, of a company in Charlotte, Born Partners and Burns Adler and Tanner Pharmaceuticals. He came to my office this summer and he said, what do you guys have going on? I'm hearing things about what you're doing and I I'd love to just talk to you for two or three hours and pick your brain on what you guys have going on at the office. And I said, well, we're doing this and we're doing that and we're going to cover a little bit of that. And he said, wow, that's unbelievable. So we talked for two or three hours and he said, that's unbelievable. I can't believe a CPA firm is this progressive in the way they're doing things. He said, you're treating it like a business and you're, and you're acting in a way that's very unique. A few days later, he followed up with an email and he said, aren't you writing a book? He said, in December or sometime after that, you should, you should do a book signing. And he outlined, I'm not kidding, we used it almost to the T, so I wish he was here to get, to, you know, to get credit for it. But he outlined exactly what he thought we should do with this open house and, and a lot of what I'm going to talk about. So um, I'd like to say thanks. I guess, Todd and Bill, you can take credit for, you can take credit for your coworker. <laughs> um, so for those of you who don't know, uh, our history, my history, goes back to 2004, and in the last nine years, we have done eight acquisitions and two mergers. We've been fortunate enough to be on the right side a bunch of times of, of a lot of great people and a lot of great businesses, and some of those people are in the room. We've been very lucky to team with Michael Moore and Eddie Goodall over the years, um, as some of you who are in the room have been clients of theirs for a long time, uh, and we're lucky to have you at LBNA as clients. So. Is we're very lucky over the years. So real quick, my partners. So in the back, I see Courtney Lalone. For those of you, Courtney, raise your hand. I'm the doorman. <laughs> <laughs> and Julie Ayers. Julie, you're not that tall. You're going to have to stand on a chair or something. <laughs> Julie. And where's Jim Lovell? Over here. I'm not uh, tall at all. <laughs> <laughs> Jim. And then we're missing tonight Dave Frazier. Uh, who had some family commitments, which is something we really believe in, and Chris Chesson, who is our partner in our Greensboro office. So for those of you who don't know, we have an office here in Matthews. You've seen, hopefully, most of the tour, and if you haven't, feel free to continue to tour after I say a few words. And if you haven't gotten a signed book, I'll sign afterwards in the other suite. We've, we have an office here in Matthews and an office in Greensboro. Over the last few years, we've grown to about 35 full-time employees. We've had um, an incredible run over the last decade and been fortunate, very, very fortunate. Matthews has been very good to us. The people of Matthews have been very kind, have taken care of our business, and have referred us continuously over the years. We've been very, <laughs> we've been very lucky. We've, we've also been lucky in Mint Hill and Monroe and into Charlotte. And, and uh, Greensboro was the next, was the next you know, expansion for us. It was our first venue into a second office. And unfortunately, Chris just couldn't make it tonight. I'd like to start with a few things, changes for 2013, some of the things that have happened. So a little over 12 months ago, we were three partners and about 20 employees. And over the last year, we've added three partners and we've added about 15 people. So we've had a large expansion over the last year and very excited about uh, Jim, wherever you are. And uh, yeah, so Jim, Jim is one of our three new partners uh, and uh, we have a lot of new faces. For those of you who have been clients and, and affiliates of the firm for a long time, you'll see lots of new faces tonight. So we're really excited about our team. Very, very excited. And, and we lost some people along the way who then decided to come back as I look over at Crystal, who left us and then came back. So we must be doing a few things right. In 2013, we're, the firm LBNA is very excited. If you haven't paid attention, we have a brand new website that went live. And the website, we try to listen to our clients. For those of you who don't give us feedback, we ask for feedback yearly. One of the things we initiated this year was what's called a client advisory board. 
We did that in May with about 10 clients, and we're going to do that annually. What we did was we brought in 10 clients. We brought in a consultant who actually interviewed our clients, and we said, what, what is it that you like about our firm? What is it that you don't like about our firm? And one of the changes that came up with our, was our website was not very good, honestly. And so we said, all right, we'll change it. And, and, on, and there was also feedback about um, you know, some other things. But the CP, so we built a whole new website in response to our clients. We're very excited. It rolled out three weeks ago. We've had great response. For those of you who haven't been to our website, here's my chance to plug Brian. If you, if, if you see Brian in the back, raise your hand, Brian. Brian. Brian's in charge of all our marketing efforts. And um, Brian would be remiss if I didn't say, please subscribe to our blog and, and, uh, and push that out through social media. And if not, Brian just took all your cards. He's going to subscribe you to the blog. <laughs> just kidding, sort of. Um, the other thing that we're really excited about is the book. We're excited, for those of you who think I'm going to sell 10,000 copies, I appreciate that. Uh, that's not why we did it. We, if we sell some copies, great. The idea is it's a marketing tool. We've been fortunate enough to be advisors on a lot of transactions. We've also been part of a bunch of transactions. So a lot of CPAs may advise, but a lot of them don't put their money and their, and their actual uh, risk where they tell their clients to do it. And we've stood beside our clients for years continuously doing that. And so we believe that that provides a differentiation, and so we wanted to put that out through a book and share that with our clients and share it with people that wanted to read and grow a business by a different method than one client at a time. We're also really excited because we were lucky enough this year. I can say that a few years ago we might not have been this lucky, but we've made some changes at the firm, and one of the things we're happy about is that we've recently been uh, elected as one of the best places to work in Charlotte through the Charlotte Business Journal. We're very excited about that. And not just in Charlotte, but during that same time frame, we happen to get on a good run and uh, we're named one of the best accounting firms to work for in the country through accounting today. And that was, that was a total surprise and we we're very excited about that. We also have won awards this year for uh, Managing Partner Elite, so one of, the, one of the best managing partners in the country. And <laughs> that's good, that's good. David Norman, David Norman, everyone. Um, he'll be here all night. Um, we, we, we also were lucky enough, as timing works out with the book, we also won an award for uh, 40 under 40 in the U.S for mergers and acquisitions. So we, it happened to be good timing because it happened about two months before the book came out. Um, so as we roll out the book, we're able to use that as another resource to build not just an M&A practice locally, but also regionally and nationally as we, as we um, you know, discuss with clients ways to grow their business in a, different, in a different manner. One of the things we've done over the last 18 months, for those of you who haven't read Mastering the Rockefeller Habits, or Double Double, which is uh, Cameron Harold's book. The uh, Rockefeller Habits is Vern Harnish's book. So for those of you who see, we have a very, we did this meeting intentionally in this room, not because we're trying to hide anything, but because we're very visual people. So Simon Sinek, so I'm a, I'm a big thirst for learning person. I like to learn everything I possibly can. I try to read 20 to 30 books a year. Jeff has a call. <laughs> I try to read 20 to 30 business books a year. One of, the things, one of the things we did last year with our staff, our staff is responsible for this. Uh, we watched a Simon Sinek video, who's a very famous speaker, and he talks about why people do what they do. And this, is, this right here is why we serve our clients. This is the way our people feel, and this is why we do what we do at this office. So this is all about our clients and how we help them and guide them by being advocates on, on their side of the table, not necessarily in an adversarial role. So we, we keep this front and visual. Back here, we have uh, sort of so part of the process of mastering the Rockefeller habits is about transparency and measuring numbers. And so weekly, we stand in this room as a staff. Now, we don't have this many people normally. But, nor but on Monday mornings at 8. Yeah, yeah. If you guys want to come to our Monday meetings, you're all invited. From 8.20 to 8.28, it's an eight-minute stand-up meeting. And we report how the firm's doing. We report good news. We report numbers from the last week and where we are in revenue versus goals. And a big thing in, ours, in our industry or in professional services industry is the billable hour. We wish it wasn't, but it is. So we track billable hours. And what we do is we report monthly goals for the firm. And then we actually put up goals for the entire year. So you will see this is our revenue goals for the year. 
And you'll see when we hit revenue goals and hours goals, we celebrate as a team in this room with lunch. We have lunch catered in. People get to pick where we're ordering from and, and we'll sit as a family and eat lunch and break bread. And so it, it's about trying to make sure that we're all looking at a bigger picture. And growth for us is about our clients. Growth for us is about our people and our clients. It's one of our core values. If you, if you paid attention, some people may have had them on their screensavers. I had them on my desk when you were in my office. But some of our core values, one of them is in growth. And it's not just growth of us, it's growth of our clients, right? Through the merger and acquisition book, through helping you find new clients, through the idea that we buy from our clients. If you don't know this yet, we have something called a fishbowl, which is we track how much we spend with our clients. And Lauren, you may know the number off the top of your head. I don't know where she is. It's give or take, it's around three. I don't know the number off the top of my head, but it's around. Yeah. It's around $300,000 we have spent this year with our clients. So 25 grand a month on average is what the firm and the, and, the, and the staff and the partners are spending with our clients. We believe in investing back in our clients because the only way that you're gonna continue to serve us is if you continue to stay in business and grow. And so we, we always try to buy from clients. When clients offer those services, we're buying. And so we, we try to continue to give back in that way. One of the things, if you didn't see it, one of the other visual depictions, if you walk through some of the partner's offices, and if you look in our downstairs lobby, we have what's called a painted picture. It's our vision of where the firm's gonna be in a few years. We believe in, in growth, not just for us and for our people, but lots of firms may stay the same and lots of companies may stay the same. Our company believes in letting our people not have a glass ceiling. Um, I've been lucky enough that since 2004, we've added five partners. There aren't very many CPA firms that are our size over the last decade that have added five partners. There aren't very many companies who have added that many. And so we're very lucky and we want, and we want to make sure that we continue to do that for our people because you guys know as our clients and our influencers that our people are awesome. Our people are really awesome. And if we continue to provide them opportunities, they'll stay with us. If we cap those opportunities, they're gonna go find another firm and so will you as a client or an influencer because you're not here for us. You're here for our people. And I believe that and we all do. We talked about some of the meetings we do and, and some of what uh, Steve Scalia at, at Born Partners asked me to talk about was some of the cadence, if you will, of regular meetings we do. So we do the eight minute stand up meeting here on Monday mornings from eight to 828. And then we roll out into department meetings. And we do those meetings that are stand up as well and they're 10 to 15 minutes depending on what we have to cover. But it's a check in. It's a month, it's a weekly meeting to be, able to, to be able to look at the people in your department and say what's going on, what do you need help with, can I help, what's go, what are you working on this week, what did you do last week, it's quick. Round robin discussion, making sure that we're on top of everything that our clients and our, and our centers of influence really need from us and making sure that we have the best people doing the right jobs. The other thing we do is, is one of our other core values is accountability. So to be clear, I have a coach at the firm and I'm rated and so is every partner. We rate ourselves on our performance and so do we, and every single person at the firm has a coach and somebody who helps them try to achieve their goals. We set goals yearly, individually, to try and hit the firm goals. We, we, everybody has goals to progress, whatever their different opportunities may be, what they want to do, and we're trying to make sure they help them accomplish those things. It's another way that we can make sure that we hold ourselves accountable. And one of the, one of the things about accountability is, um, so Brian, I'm gonna pick on you since you're the first one I see, but Brian has the, has the lucky uh, opportunity to, to, to do reporting weekly. So our marketing, our controller, who's Crystal right here, for those of you who owe us money, if you could stop at the uh, ATM on the way out the door. We just installed an ATM, Saeed in the back was lucky enough to put an ATM in downstairs in our building. Feel free to get some cash and give it to Crystal. <laughs> um, so Brian, uh, Crystal, uh, Scott, wherever you are, in the back, our HR director, we have weekly reporting. So their, their roles are unique in a CPA firm. They're not serving clients on a day-to-day -day basis all the time. They're helping us in different functions. And weekly they send me a report and then we meet about it for 15 minutes. They'll send me a report depending on when they are. They'll send it the night before we have the meeting and I'll review those 15 minutes before. It's not to, it's not to you know, do anything different than hold them accountable and hold us accountable to make sure you know, if Scott's hiring somebody, we make sure that we're helping him get there and we're not leaving him high and dry or we're not, we're not having Brian go down a rabbit hole on a marketing opportunity that we didn't all agree on as a firm. And so that's really the goal of... 
Plug Scott. Make sure you. Yeah. <laughs> we also, as part of it, um, for those of you who follow either Rockefeller Habits or Cameron Cameron's or Cameron Harold's Double Double Book, we believe in uh, getting off site as a management team, and so we do that in regular ways. Yearly, our management team leaves for a three-day retreat, and you're thinking boondoggle, and we're going off drinking and playing golf, and that's not really true. I remember the first time Julie Ayers went on a uh, went on a partner retreat, on a management retreat, and she was like, <laughs> "Yeah," she said, uh, she, "She said, what are we going to do for two and a half days?" And I was like, "We start meetings at like 8 a.m. and we finish around 11." And she was like, "Really?" Yeah, 11 a.m. <laughs> and uh, and 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 that's really it. We're focused on we're focused on strategy and vision. And we're focused on it in a way that helps push our company forward and helps make sure that we're providing the right services to our clients. We're listening and making sure that we're doing the things that you're asking us to do. We're trying to pay attention. So we do those yearly. We also do a semi-annual half-day retreat. We do a firm-wide charity event once a year. That usually happens after April 15th. For those of you who have come by our office while we're closed and been frustrated, we're giving back to charity on those days. Um, and then we do a, we do a firm-wide LBNA day, what we call in July, we'll do a firm-wide update of progress, where we're headed, what we're doing, the changes we're thinking about as a firm. And these are things that we believe in. We believe in making sure that we're transparent, but that we're all going in the right direction. If we have half of the firm think we're going one way and half of the firm think we're going the other way, you know, it's a tug of war match and we're not gonna, we're not gonna make any progress towards providing our clients better service. We're not gonna make any progress towards providing new services. And all of those things we take from feedback from you guys, feedback from uh, local centers of influence, we're taking those things to heart. So if you have feedback after tonight, Brian's your guy. <laughs> because we like that feedback. We try to improve. We believe that we are not perfectionists. We constantly try to improve. You know, perfection is not something you can strive for. It's almost impossible. But you can continuously improve and get better, not just as an individual, but as a firm. And if we can do those things together as a group, we're going to make sure that we all, you know, the, the centers of influence in the room, the clients, we're all going to benefit from this. We're all going to become a better group. We're all going to provide better advice to you. We're going to help you grow your business. And you can use us as a resource, not just on your tax and accounting needs, but on your wealth management needs as we provide wealth management services and our HR needs. And, and we can be resources for you. We want to help you find the next line of credit. We want to help you buy your next business. We want to help you sell your business. We've got you know, folks in here that help you do that. I mean, we want to make sure we don't always provide the service, but we're in the market on a day-to-day -day basis with people like you who are connected in the community. And people like you help drive our business. So in closing, I just want to say thank you very much for coming to our first annual open house. Without everybody in this room, it's not possible. And I, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for nine and a half years of extreme success, and I really appreciate it. Thank you. Back to drinking and food. <laughs>